to another story. We just announced that. We solved the problem again. And now we move on to more, <laughs> to, right. to more content. Uh, and pe- people might be wondering, what happened to Air France, the plane that went into the rift? And a few bodies showed up. Well, they sort of stopped covering that, James, as I predicted. And here's the final story. Uh, June 21st, Sunday. Air France search scaled back. They're scaling back the search for bodies, James. The Brazilian Air Force has withdrawn a sophisticated radar search plane from our operation, saying there's little more to be gained. Fifty bodies have been recovered, along with some debris from the plane itself, but there's little hope of recovering anything further. There are still some smaller Brazilian and French Navy vessels scouring the area, but little has been recovered in the past week. Meanwhile, a French nuclear submarine is still searching for the two black boxes from the flight. The batteries which power the underwater beacons, which would allow the sub to locate the boxes, are expected to expire within the week. Okay, James, you realize that we can see to the bottom of the ocean with our satellites and everything, that right. you can find anything that you can Yeah, I know that. I know that. It's like, it's like a joke. Yeah, yeah. And, and you can find the boxes. It right. is nonsense that you can't find the boxes. The point is, they did go into another dimension. And even though this is not believed by a, a few people in our audience, the majority of our audience believe everything I say, and they know I'm right on, uh, but the few that are cynics, and we must scapegoat the few cynics, because that's what media is, find a little nobody and beat the heck out of it, right? <laughs> anybody from... <laughs> Anybody exactly. from Paris Hilton, anybody from Paris Hilton or a country called Iran, either juicy pickings or North Korea for our digital chip body landscape based on abuse value. So we're abusing those that think that I'm a nut. Well, I'm not a nut. I am showing you that it had to come to nothing. You had, this, it's just what you said, James. That was a big story last week for two weeks. Now it's nothing. Uh, when they when they change the dollar, they they make the Chinese you in the reserve currency. It'll be just another story, James. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I did like the whole Iran thing. That'll be gone shortly. <laughs> to live in the future means ignoring the media. That's how you live in the future, which is actually our constant <laughs> exactly. present. Exactly. Right. It's a major lifestyle time. What did you do today? I didn't watch TV. I didn't read the news. And I feel good. Yeah, <laughs> and I want, and I'm ready for more. <laughs> okay, so here are some uh, slogans that we can put on our website if that ever gets happening. Is that website happening? You yeah. blipped out again. Are you there? Send it parts. Yeah, we're having major Android meme issues at the moment. Okay, that's good. That's that's the ESP coming back at us. Yes. Okay, what is our website? JamesMartinezLive.com. All right, I have a uh, a few statements we can put up there. Statement number one: There must always be a cover-up in any major news event. That's a law because that allows everybody to look to try to find be, what's going on behind the scenes. That creates a lot of typing, a lot of information. Right. So. The uh, old authorities know that you must, when there's a major news event, put out erroneous information that makes people think there's a cover-up so that that gets everybody involved in finding out what's going on. Okay? (laughs) Right. (laughs) And that keeps the information well flowing. So, law number one, there must always be a cover-up in any major news event. I got an idea. Just a second. Do you think it would be good stimulating for their economy, for the digital economy? We had a big UFO crash, and then we had to cover up the story. People will be typing for, till, for 10 years on it. Yeah, they're still typing on Roswell, 1947. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know, uh, do you know that phrase, people uh, don't know what they like, they like what they know? You ever heard of that? Oh, yeah. People don't know what they like. They like what they know. That basically, people don't like the unfamiliar. Well, I have a slogan we need to put on our website. I don't want to know what I like, because others want to like what they know. So I, we here at Cashflow, don't want to know what we like. It's a perfect uh, slogan for the mystery landscape. Others want to like what they know, all right? It's exactly right. That's right. But we here don't even want to know what we like. 
because that blocks the perception of the void that we're excitingly enjoying at this point. This is a thrilling void that is so alive with potential that I and my team can move around unnoticed and create a concrete structure for a new situation. And that's why I am the president of the... What, 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 what am I the president of, James? I don't want to lend myself to the White House. No, don't, no. <laughs> God, I am no, the leading. Don't, don't lend yourself to just that. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I, I, I again uh, rebuke Warren Buffett for being uh, a pattern generator but not revealing the hidden ground. Right. That's his right. That's his position. But we must uh, recognize it's not what the wealthiest person in the world should do today. Yeah. And uh, I leave the ending of the show for you, James. Is there anything you want to add? No. <laughs> I, think you, I think everybody's catching up right now because of the shock that you just put in the Android meme as well as you corrupting the Android meme and having hiccups and so forth. And so I congratulate you for being able to do that once again. So great job there. All right, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> James Martinez with Cash Flow.